Have you tried to set your face with powder to prevent creasing only to make it look more cakey? Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique that you can use to set your face with powder to prevent creasing but still keep your skin looking non-cakey, natural and radiant. So if you're ready, let's begin. First things first, to avoid caking up, you need to prep your skin. I'm just starting with a drugstore moisturizer. This is Aveeno. I absolutely love it. I'm going to apply a generous amount on my face and neck. Make sure to use a sunblock, especially if you're stepping out. And to prep around my eyes, I'm going to be using the Tatcha Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream. This is going to remove the dryness that's around the eyes. So when you apply your concealer, it's not going to settle in those fine lines and cake up. And while we do that, let's not forget our lips. I'm going to be using the Jouer Lip Enhancer. This is an ultra rich lip moisturizer. One reason why makeup creases is because it moves and settles in the fine lines. How do we prevent it from doing that? Is by using a gripping primer. I'm using Cover FX and this is a clear gel primer that visibly firms and creates a glass-like finish. It fills in all the pores and fine lines to create a smooth canvas and because it forms that tacky layer, the makeup grips onto it and lasts all day. Observe carefully while I apply it on my forehead, it instantly removes all of that shine. So it fills and blurs all the pores so you get a clean canvas for your foundation application. Now the face feels tacky and nice so whatever I apply on top of this is going to cling on to my skin and it's going to last longer. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bond This Way Matte 24 hour foundation and I'm using the shade praline. I'm going to dot it all over my face and neck and I'm using a damp sponge to blend it out. You don't have to use the same foundation or any of the products that I'm using today. You can use what you have and you can achieve the same results. Although this reads matte foundation, it gives you almost that satin demi matte finish. It's oil free and lasts all day. I absolutely love this foundation. I personally go for foundations that don't feel heavy on the skin, but at the same time cover up all my dark spots and the uneven skin tone. And that's what this foundation does for me. For that little extra coverage around the eyes and mouth, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. This is a true match to my skin tone. I'm going to apply it and blend it out again with the damp sponge. I'm going to lightly set the concealer around my eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way powder to prevent it from creasing. Now for the rest of the face, you don't really need that much powder. So here are the simple couple steps that I follow to set my face with powder but at the same time keep it looking very natural. First, wait for a couple minutes till your foundation dries. You can use tissue paper if you prefer, but I'm using toilet paper here because it's cheaper, it's less expensive. All you need is one sheet and I'm going to split it into two because it usually has two layers. Although I use very less foundation on my face, I'm still going to press and remove the excess. There's always going to be some residue that will be sitting on the outer layer that your skin doesn't really need. Whatever has to be covered is covered and whatever is sitting on the topmost layer can be removed. And that's what this is doing. It's blotting out the excess. It's time to apply the powder and it helps to have a stiff powder brush. What I mean by stiff is when you press it onto your skin, the bristles shouldn't move too much. The one that I'll be using is from Haley's. This brush, as you can see, when I press it onto my skin, it's not moving too much. While here's another brush, when I press it onto my skin, the bristles tend to be very flexible and they move a lot. This is a really nice brush, but not necessarily good for today's technique. I'm going to dip the Haley's brush in some powder 
remove the excess and all I'm going to do is place the other half of my tissue paper onto my skin and gently press the brush over this. What this does is it sifts the powder and only uses a tad bit to set your face. You would have seen this method being used on the lips to seal it. You usually blot your lips and then set it with a little bit of powder to prevent the lipstick from moving. So we are using the same logic here. I'm going to repeat this all over my face and if I feel like the brush doesn't have much powder, I'm going to dip it in powder again, remove the excess and repeat. And to seal the deal, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Benefit Professional Super Setter. Rather than spraying it directly on my face, I'm going to spray it on my sponge and press the sponge on my face. This step will not only lock your makeup, it's going to melt the products and give you more of a skin-like finish. That's it. That's how simple it is. And I want to show you how this lasts throughout the day. So I'm going to lightly finish up the rest of my makeup and I'm going to check in with you a couple times just to show you how the makeup is performing. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 4.5. I'm going to be filling in the top and the bottom part. Using the spoolie in the back, I'm going to brush my brow hair downwards, filling in the top part. And then using the spoolie again, I'm going to brush my brow hair so I can clearly see at the bottom and fill that in. Nice thing about micro tips is you don't really need to sharpen the tip. It's always sharp. And this is a long wearing brow pencil. It's waterproof and smudge proof. My everyday eye makeup is super simple. All I use is a bronzer. I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. I just use in the outer corner to get that elongated eye look. I'm just applying it with a blending brush by Milani. And then I also use it in my lower lash line, smoking it out with a flat shader brush. And then I finish up with a coat of mascara, but before that I curl my lashes. And for mascara, I've been really liking the Lengthening Mascara by REM Beauty. They also have another mascara where the wand looks a little weird. I'm not too sure about that one, but I really like this mascara. And for the lips, I'm just using a lip liner by Wet n Wild. Again, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be lining my lips as well as filling it in with this lip liner first. And then I'm going to blot out the excess with the tissue paper and lightly set it with some powder. I kid you not, this is going to seal everything and it's going to make your makeup last so long while keeping your skin looking so beautiful and so radiant and natural. And here is the finished look while the makeup has covered all the things that I wanted to cover on my skin. It has still kept my skin looking radiant, natural and nice. Here's a close up. It has beautifully covered everything. But at the same time, your skin looks like skin, but just a better version. It's around 10.50 in the morning and I want to show you how it performs throughout the day. I want to show you how it looks in natural light. It's around 3 o'clock and this is how my skin looks. There's a little bit of shine here and there, especially on my forehead, which is okay because we don't have too much powder on the face. And that shine doesn't look like I'm sweating or I have a highlighter on my face. It looks more like an inner glow, which I personally love. It's around 7.15 in the evening and it's been about eight and a half hours since I applied my makeup without any touch-ups. And this is how it's held up throughout the day. I look a little tired, but the makeup itself still looks pretty good. Not much creasing, just a tad bit around my mouth, which usually happens even if I just apply powder directly on my face. And just a tad bit of shine on my cheeks and forehead, and it's very easy to fix. Take a dry clean brush and just dab it in. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And this is what I do to set my face without making it look cakey. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you would like to watch more videos like these. Do check out the description box for all the products that I use today along with my social media links in case you plan to follow me there. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.